Hello everyone. In this lecture video, we shall learn how to construct portfolios using Excel. This lecture video will be coming in two parts. In the first part, we shall learn how to construct the efficient frontier and the market portfolio. In the second part, we shall be constructing different other types of portfolios including the global minimum variance portfolio and then a comparison will be done among these portfolios in terms of their risk and return. In construction of the efficient frontier, we assume that the individual will be having only two assets where he or she will be putting his or her wealth. We assume that a certain percentage of his or her wealth is put in one asset and the remaining is put in the other asset. So each of these weight combinations will constitute a portfolio. It will be coming with a particular risk and a return. Then we shall be varying all these weight combinations and we shall find out the optimum risk and the return associated with this portfolio. Now if we plot all these returns and the risks then we shall be getting the efficient frontier. After that we shall try to find out the market portfolio where we shall assume that the individual will be having two assets to invest in. One is this risky portfolio and the other is a risk free asset that offers some fixed amount of return over the time. So given this the market portfolio may be considered or may be constructed as the tangency portfolio where the line will be touching the efficient frontier. We are using the data on the green indexes from three regions of the world. We have data on Asia Pacific green, US green and the European Green. This data has been collected from the official website of Dow Jones Sustainability Indexes. This is a monthly data that starts from January 2004 and it continues till July 2019. We have computed the return series also using the first formula which says that the return is the proportionate change in the prices there is an alternative formula which says that returns are equal to log of pt by pt minus 1 which can also be used. Now since the efficient frontier and the market portfolio will ultimately be shown diagrammatically. So let us start with only two assets the US green and the European green. The descriptive statistics are shown here. From the mean and standard deviation, it is clear that mean is higher for the US green and standard deviation or risk is lower for it. The reverse is true for the European green where the mean is relatively lower and the risk is relatively higher. So now we shall construct different portfolios for that we need to start from the variance covariance matrix. We go to the covariance option under the data analysis. We input the entire return series as the data range for which we need to construct the variance covariance matrix. We have labels in the data and then we specify the target or the output cell. This is the variance covariance matrix. Since this is a symmetric matrix, only the lower portion of this is reported. But for our computational purposes, the entire matrix should be completed. So we do this by copying the off diagonal cell and pasting it in the relevant portion. Now we start from giving weights to the two assets. 
there are two assets the usg and eug we start from a very extreme assumption that eug is getting the weight 1 whereas us green is getting the weight 0 so this is one particular weight combination later on we shall be varying these in order to get different portfolios this cell shows the sum of the two weights which is always equal to 1 for our computational purposes this cell should always contain a formula we should never incorporate or include any value in this particular cell so now we shall be computing the portfolio risk and the portfolio return so as i have mentioned this portfolio risk and portfolio return will be associated with this particular weight combinations and later on we shall be changing these weight combinations to find out the portfolio risk and the portfolio return now these risks and the returns are computed on the basis of a given variance covariance matrix let us now move on to the formula of risk and return portfolio risk is given by the product of the three matrices the transpose of the weight matrix the variance covariance matrix and the weight matrix itself the portfolio return is given by the product of the two matrices the return matrix and the weight matrix accordingly we use the MMULT and the transpose formula in order to find out the portfolio risk so this is the portfolio risk now we shall be computing the portfolio return it is given by the product of the two matrices the return matrix and the weight matrix So now we have calculated the risk and return for the portfolio where USG is getting the weight 0 and UG is getting the weight 1. Now we shall be varying these weight combinations for the two assets. We assume that the two assets will be getting weights from 0 to 1 at 10 percent interval so that for the usg we start from the weight 0 and then it changes from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 up to 1 eug will be getting the same weights weights will vary from 0 to 1 at 10 percent level but it will be coming in the reverse order this is because when USG is getting zero weight, EUG must get the weight one. So when the weight assigned to one asset is increasing, the weight assigned to the other asset should be decreasing. Now we have a table. Each cell in this table will be giving us the value of a particular variable for example portfolio risk or return when two assets are assigned different weights the top right corner is associated with portfolio risk 
now we are going to the data analysis what if analysis rather in the data table and this gives us the portfolio risk at different levels of weights so the diagonal elements are important because the first diagonal element gives us the portfolio risk when usg gets weight 0 and eug gets weight 1 the second diagonal element gives when usg gets 10% weight and eug gets 90% weight now we can compute the portfolio return using the same what if analysis and the data table this cell now is linked to the portfolio return cell and this entire data table has been changed so that now the diagonal elements show the return for the different weight combinations we have copied all these values portfolio risk and the portfolio returns in this worksheet now the portfolio risk that we have considered earlier gives the variance but when we draw the efficient frontier it is the SD and the return that should be plotted together therefore we have computed portfolio risk as the square root of the variance that we have computed earlier so now this pf risk and pf return will be plotted in order to get the efficient frontier so this is our efficient frontier where returns are plotted against the risk so this has got this particular shape it has upward rising portion as well as backward bending portion this is the point where we are getting lowest return and highest risk this is the point where EUG is getting the highest weight which is 1 and EUG is the riskier asset this point gives us the highest return at a relatively lower level of risk so this is the point where EUG is getting zero weight and USG which is relatively less risky asset is getting a higher weight so this is the range where we are getting negative relationship and this is the range where we are getting positive relationship between risk and return this is the minimum variance portfolio if you consider the table then this gives us the 40 60 weight distribution among the two different assets we can find out this global minimum variance portfolio too and we shall be showing that in our next lecture videos given this efficient frontier we can find out the market portfolio so for that we shall have to consider two uh, assets so we shall assume that along with this risky asset or the risky portfolio there will be another risk free asset offering a particular risk free return so this will be giving us the line which will be tangent to the efficient frontier and this tangency point will be giving us the market portfolio so now we need to find out the slope of this particular line such that it touches the efficiency frontier so our problem becomes like this so we have two assets one is the risky portfolio and the other is the risk free asset so this is the expected return on the portfolio that is constructed using these two assets so let us call this tan a which is the slope of the line if we consider this as a linear relationship between the expected return and the risk 
So our task will be to maximize this tan A subject to the constraint that sum of all the weights should be equal to 1. So we have our risk free weight to be 4% per annum and tan A is computed in the cell. So we have the portfolio return, portfolio risk and the risk free rate. This portfolio risk is the square root of the variance that we have computed earlier and this risk free rate is the monthly risk free rate that we have computed from the annual risk free rate. So we start from our original weight distribution where USG gets 0 and EUG gets 1. We go to the solver. So our target cell is tan A. We are maximizing it by changing the weight cells. So these are the choice variables. We have only one constraint. Let us add that sum of all the constraints given in that blue cell should be equal to 1. Now before solving we go to the option. We can permit or we cannot permit the short selling. So to start with we assume that there is no restriction on the short selling but later on we may change that in order to see if any change happens in our result. So we solve. The weights have changed. Now USG is getting a weight which is more than 1 and EUG is getting a negative weight. Therefore EUG is um, facing some disinvestment whereas the investors are investing in the US green. So let us put some restriction on the short selling and let's see what happens. So that we shall be making all the weights to be strictly positive. Once again we have an extreme situation where USG is getting the weight 1 and EUG is getting the weight 0 so that if we put restriction on the short selling then all the investors will be putting their wealth in the US green index only. So here we have copied all the data and let us now try to find out the estimated return on the portfolio that is constituted by taking into consideration the risky portfolio and the risk free asset. So this is RF plus tan alpha times the portfolio risk. We are using dollar signs here. because tan A and RF will be remaining fixed for all the sales. Now we find out the estimated return on the portfolio for all the values. So if this estimated return is plotted against the PF risk then we shall be getting this line. Now we have plotted the line. It is touching the efficient frontier at a point where USG is getting the weight 1 and EUG is getting the weight 0. So uh, in the market portfolio the relatively riskier asset is getting a lower weight and the relatively less risky asset is getting a higher weight. So that is how the efficient frontier and the market portfolio may be constructed using Excel. In the following lecture video we shall learn how to construct the different portfolios using the Excel and the financial time series data and then we shall be making a comparison of the portfolios in terms of their risk and return. So till then bye. Have a good day.